people need energy. Energy is heat. And energy is light. Energy is physical science. Today, there are new ways energy can be created safely, inexpensively, and without polluting the environment. And scientists like T.H. Culhane are working to make clean energy more accessible. Today, T.H. is bringing his energy-saving ideas to a house in Northern California. 100% of the electricity that this house uses is going to come from the sun. 100% of the water that we use for the garden is going to come from the wastewater. For TH, it's just a matter of using waste in a smart way. This here is a homemade gray water system. Now what that means is it takes all the soapy water that you produce in the house, when you're taking a shower, when you're taking a bath, when you wash your hands at the sink, when you wash your clothes, when you wash your dishes, all that water gets pumped out, stored in these tanks, and then we use it to flush the toilets and to water our garden and to create a nice lush green lawn. TH sees no need to waste food either, using leftovers to create cooking gas. This is a sink with an insincorator waste disposal unit. And what that does is that grinds up our food with water and produces everything you need to make biogas. We can use old apples, pomegranate, even flowers. And once that's all ground up, we take the biogas fuel to the biogas digester. With this amazing contraption, TH pours in chopped up table scraps, mixed with other natural waste, and the mixture produces gas that can be used for cooking in the kitchen. And we push the gas all the way to the kitchen where we can cook for about two hours a day. Even pet fish in a fish pond can help save energy. Here we have what's known as an aquaponics garden. Kevin, this is your baby. Why don't you tell us what it's all about? Well, the fish will pollute their water by pooping in it, but that poop has ammonium in it, which is good for the plants. Plants will filter the water so that there's no ammonium in it anymore, and that'll be good for the fish. So what you're saying is the fish are feeding the plants, the plants are cleaning the water and giving it back to the fish. Yeah. Before long, T.H. Colhane and his team will have a house that uses only the sun for energy, creates cooking gas from table scraps, and uses wastewater to create a garden filled with fruits and vegetables. This is sure to be one house of many, made more energy efficient by this urban pioneer with a colorful past. I'm an Iraqi, Lebanese, Irish, French, German, American, celebrating my multicultural heritage. I worked with Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus when I was 14 years old. I spent a year in the primary rainforests of Borneo, uh, places where it had almost been untouched. I know from the experiences I've had around the world that we have solutions to all of the problems that are plaguing us. We're bringing technologies from India to Cairo. We're bringing technologies from Cairo to Sonoma County. So what I'm trying to accomplish is just something that demonstrates that it isn't so hard and inspires others to overcome their fear and their inertia and their resistance and just try it themselves. In the years to come, T.H. Culhane plans to continue traveling all over the world, teaching people how to create and conserve energy for themselves. Who knows, he may even end up in a town near you.